em không không sao bài trình bày của của em à, có có điều từ nãy giờ ban giám khảo có thấy cái cái điểm tâm đồ á điểm tâm đồ là à, block như thất cấp 1 mà đây là không biết là à, cái địa, à, đây là em minh họa tức là để phòng ngừa hay là à, điều trị chứ mà trong cái bài à, báo cáo của em cái tên tiêu đề là block như thất à, cấp 3 hoàn toàn mà lúc mà minh họa thì em lại để lại có một lúc như cấp một thì không biết là đấy là uh, nhầm mai là thế nào hả? Được uh, nào thử thách khó khăn trong đại dịch nhưng tất cả chúng ta nhau cố gắng. Sao? Uh, dạ, thưa thầy uh, là uh, cái này là nó diễn tiến từ uh, cái lớp cấp một với QRS nó dạng rộng sau đấy nó tiến chuyển thành một cái uh, cái block TV cấp 3 có thể là do cái uh, hình ảnh em bị uh, nhầm lẫn ạ à. Sau đấy thì tức là bệnh nhân có đối loạn huyết động sau khi cái uh, biến đổi thiết bị tâm đồ thì chúng em đã tiến hành đặt cái máy tạo nhịp tạm thời ạ à. Ok, uh, congratulations for your presentation uh, I think uh, uh, following uh, your presentation you have to uh, uh, change but I'm uh, very uh, interested about the uh, your plan uh, by uh, the first one that is uh, you uh, implant the press speaker by uh, echo uh, cardiograph uh, guide that means you use uh, the ultrasound to insert uh, the the uh, catheter the guide uh, and, and the press maker to the patient the second one uh, yeah, you applied uh, I uh, technique a very popular technique That's it, a pacemaker, saving the uh, diphtheria complication. And I, uh, um, young, I do, uh, 21 years old. Congratulations. But uh, I would like to know how about the indication? How about the indication? Because uh, the, the, uh, you saw the only the uh, sinus rhythm. And uh, the second one, I see the uh, left uh, bundle branch blocks only. And uh, how about the, uh, the the indication in this case? Can you show me? Can you tell me? Uh, dear pro, uh, dear professors, uh, uh, when the after the time the patients become uh, the heart rate too slow and uh, uh, blood pressure is not stable, so the patient become very uh, fatigued and uh, the the monitoring show with the uh, the slow heart rate. Uh, compare with when the patient uh, go to hospital and we can see the EKG like the QoS completely wider so we uh, we think about just uh, and we test the uh, plot we uh, uh, blood show with the atrium uh, I and PNB very high and we think that well can I see the uh, arrhythmia we become uh, aggressive So we we think uh, should be uh, indication uh, temporary pacemaker for patient to uh, prevent the uh, the hemodynamic more 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 unstable to to how to keep the the blood pressure. So that's it. Okay. So in that case, uh, you use uh, the uh, implantation of pacemaker only for prevention and uh, the uh, uh, cardiac uh, complication uh, in in uh, in case of uh, diphtheria. Uh, that's a, that's a, it's more clear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the reason why we uh we do procedure to prevent the, the hemodynamic become more more compromised to to uh not uh, to the the disease more uh more severe. And uh, beside the, the the temporary pacemaker, because uh, uh, you use others. Uh, Visodilatator or other treatment combined with pacemaker, or you use only the the the, the temporary pacemaker? Uh, actually, we uh, we uh have the antidote diphtheria and uh, captopril. We uh we two trade up to our uh, four uh um uh four times per day. It's mean a one hundred uh milligram per day uh for the patient and nutrition into nasal gastric tube. Uh, we uh, have the uh, the the fluid in the IV and with a little um, uh, furosemide for for urination. 
Uh, so that means the, 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 the patient has a high blood pressure or low blood pressure because you use uh, at the same time cardiovascular associated with the, the uh, how to say the fuel semi. It can reduce uh, the, the, the blood pressure. And uh, uh, how, how, how about your diagnostic? And then that's why uh, this is a, a, a cardiogenic shock or uh, only is a, a unstable uh, blood pressure. Uh, dear professor, uh, when uh, the, the when we do a procedure, uh, patient maker, then the the patient become more stable, and uh, after that we we can show to uh, the IVC are uh, in a little uh, dilation, and we use more uh, a little diuretic for uh, urination, and uh, because the the the. The uh, membranous in the 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 esophagus, the patient cannot drink or cannot uh, the eat the food, and we we uh, nutrition of our nasopharyngeal tip and the IV fluid. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you again, and the next uh, and uh, the doctor, the next presenter. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and yes. gentlemen. Today, it is my honor to present here to introduce my case report. The case report is treatment of pain marker induced superior vena cava syndrome by venoplasty with a coronary balloon. I am Dr. Phan Le Chai from Hanoi Heart Hospital. I am a electrophysiologist. Further on, the background and history of patient, a 43 year old male patient admitted to our emergency department for two episodes of pre-syncope, dizziness, fatigue. History of the patient, DDDR pain marker implanted for 33 AV block after prosthesis aortic valve replacement 2013. No spatial comorbidities. It's vital sign in ED room, heart rate 40. Blood pressure 120, 80. Temperature 37. Respiratory rate 20. The second section, physical examination and investigation findings. Heart rate 40, blood pressure 120, 90. ECG 33 AV block, BRE 4250. Checked, pay marker, abrupt increase impedance and no conduction of ventricular lead. Accurate fracture of one lead. Patient was indicated for a change of ventricular lead. So under fluoroscopy, in the left picture, we can see we cannot uh, wire thermal wire through FVC. The middle picture, FVC venogram with contrast confirmed obstructed FVC. And the right picture, fracture ventricular lead under fluoroscopy. So the diagnosis is a fracture of the ventricular lead, FVC occlusion, processed aortic valve, DDDR, PPM. So the question, which strategy did we choose to treat this patient? The perfect option, removal of the old ventricular lead and insertion of a new one through FVC to RV. Reopening FVC is mandatory. The second alternative option, pericardial implant for ventricular lead. And the third chosen alternative option, none removal of old ventricular lead and insertion of a new ventricular lead, reopening of FVC by a coronary balloon. We decided to reopen FVC and implant a new lead, which was feasible in my hospital. Old lead attraction, not feasible. Eczema laser system, not available in my hospital. Reopening achieved with a coronary balloon and insertion of a new lead into the RV. Very cordial lead. Family did not desire. So, according the consultant to the coronary interventionist to open FPC and assist with insertion of ventricular lead, using guiding catheter GR6F to engage to the FPC. 
using curly wire, yellow bone, yellow 14, without carpenting to pass through abductus FTC, dilating gradually and carefully curly balloon, 3.020, four times with pressure ranging from 18 to 24, rewiring thermal wire, yellow bone, yellow 35, wire to FTC, inserting the long sheet, Metronic introducer sheet, sit F and 23 over thermal wire through the obstruction. Withdraw, fix the wire, cut the hemostasis valve afterward, and ultimately insert the new ventricle lead in the lumina of the long sheet. So it is a picture of the equipment. You can see curly wire as a see on blue. Yellow bond, yellow 14, and 118. Metronic introducer sheet, sick F and twenty three, and the clinical course. We pass curly wire over the obstructed FBC easily, dilating curly balloon three point zero and twenty gradually in the obstruction FBC, and the final result in the right picture. So, successfully implanting new RV lead on the inferior anterior septum RV. So, the discussion. FVC syndrome is rare but really serious, severe, and difficult to treat in clinical practices, especially with non experienced electrophysiologists. The only way to confirm the diagnosis is with a genogram and complete tomography cannot completely detect the obstruction in the FVC. Because of the rarity of FVC syndrome, there is no consensus or unique treatment strategy for this. Many others report successful treatment of the patient with venoplasty with or without standing the FVC. But the complication like FVC leaking, perforation, and tumor can occur during the procedure. In conclusion, venoplasty with or without standing the FVC is the most new and optimal option to treat FVC syndrome patient until there is a lack of evidence or research comparing the outcome of pregnancy between endovascular surgery and venoplasty with or without standing the FVC. Physicians should try venoplasty first, and if it fails, the surgery should be the last result. By publishing this case study, we want to share our real experience and point of view in FTC syndrome treatment in our center in Vietnam. Although we don't have our own equipment in a special way with the cooperation between EP and coronary interventionists, a coronary wire, a modified long sheet, and a coronary balloon, we did it. Successfully, the patient with pain marker in the FTC syndrome and fracture ventricular lead, especially in this case. Thank you for your attention. Don't hesitate if you have any question or comment about my case and my procedure. Thank you, uh, Dr. Pham Lê Trà. This report decides one case of SVC syndrome treated with venoplasty. General, your research Tough is very good. There are some things I don't understand. So I have some questions for you. Question number one. What do you think about this case? If you treated this patient with venoplasty and venous standing, do you understand my question? Um, first of all, um, thank you for your question. I understood your question. Uh, and uh, now I answer your question. Um, in uh, academically uh, treatment of pain in the vena uh, in the uh, superior vena cover syndrome, uh, we uh, usually have uh, two options. One is FVC uh, venous platy and FVC stenting, and we have two uh, results. Uh, prove it. The first research uh, is um, published in uh, 2011. Endovascular stand provide more effective early relief of FTC obstruction compared to balloon angioplasty. In this research, we have a two group uh, with uh, 108 patients with uh, balloon angioplasty and 102 patient with standing the FVC and the final result shows uh, the successful 
procedure in standing patient group is higher with uh, 95% patient and uh, no re-intervention after six months of the procedure of the standing group is higher with the percent this is 18%. And the second research, um, I have a file. Um, the title is Managing Superior Vena Cover Syndrome as a Complication of Pain Marker Implantation Upon Analysis of Clinical Practice. It also shows that uh, the stenting uh, recurrent is very low, 5%, and the uh, phenoplasty recurrent is really high, 23%. So, um, if I um, overall, if I can do it again uh, um, with a fully equipment like uh, Venus stand or Venus balloon, I will do stand, stand uh, FPC um, for the optimal treatment for this patient. Um, but unluckily, uh, in this procedure, we don't have uh, enough. Uh, equipment like uh, Venus stand or Venus balloon to do this for this patient. But um, the final result is really good. Uh, the follow-up uh, after six months is very good. No FVC syndrome symptom uh, occur after the procedure. So okay. thank you for your question. In, in this case, your patient has been treated only one with, uh, with venoplasty. Currently, there are many studies that show treatment with thrombolytic therapy before balloon angioplasty will be more effective. Uh, uh, question number two. Yes, question yeah, number two. Yeah. In this basin, why didn't you treat the basin with thrombolytic therapy first? Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, you know, when we... Uh, try to bat through the obstructed FVC by a hydrophilic wire. Um, it is very difficult. Uh, I um, modify the, uh, the cuff of uh, the tip of the wire, but uh, it fell to uh, three times, two to three times. Uh, so um, um, we don't think that the obstructed FVC is because of the thrombo thrombotic bus uh, fibrosis. So, um, my senior doctor asked me to 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 do IVAS first, but we cannot uh, we cannot pass the wire through the obstructive. So um, my senior doctor uh, told me that uh, we cannot use thrombolytic for the patient um, before we 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 uh, uh, wire through the obstructive or dilate the obstructive with the balloon. So it is the, the, the reason that why I um, didn't uh, use thrombolytic for this patient before dilating FPC obstructed by a balloon. Thank you. In my opinion, if you treat the patient with thrombolytic, it uh, will be better than for the patient. Thank you. Yes. Dear Professor, do you have any more questions? Dear Professor. No, no, no. no, no. So, thank uh, you. Enough. Enough. So, uh, thank you for the case of Dr. Pamleta.